Bro, y'all, this is the nonsense right here. Okay, so y'all got the video today that I did the other day ranting about COVID and all this type of shit. And I'm just really paying attention to this shit right now because, you know, school started back and I really just don't understand what the fuck our governor called himself doing in Texas. But peep this though. So, this motherfucker issued another um, mandate or whatever the hell that, you know, they don't win and sue his ass for. So, you know, Greg Abbott, in, Texas is a red state, okay? So, Greg Abbott um, is all about this, this border wild shit, right? So... He issued something about state troopers can pull over any car that they suspect um, carrying immigrants, right? So, um, the Border Patrol people, or whoever the fuck it was, they sued in court saying that Texas cannot make up its own immigration laws because him stopping people who might be transporting immigrants is problematic because he could be transporting people that are going back and forth to their hearings and um, they could be transporting people um, that are working you know what I'm saying shit like that right and here go they defense for this shit. Texas, <laughs> right? Texas, um, is pandemic, has a large pandemic number or whatever, and part of this is because of immigrants coming across the border. Number one, there is little to no evidence that the rising numbers of COVID in Texas is due to the rising number of immigrants coming across the border. And then, and then number two, motherfucker, if, if we got such high pandemic numbers that you worried about people, immigrants coming over here, why in the fuck would you issue a mandate to tell people that they cannot enforce mask in they in they in they spaces if 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 the pandemic is such a problem see this is this the type of stupid shit i be talking about when it be coming to like republicans just dumb ass shit like them two things don't even match like make it make sense it doesn't make fucking sense you want to use the pandemic as an excuse to fill your I don't even know what to call it. Yo, yo shit with this border shit. Whatever. Now, here, here we go. Let me just put this out there. Because, you know, I say certain shit, people start assuming shit. Like, motherfuckers... Mother, first of all, just because I'm black, motherfuckers assume I'm a Democrat. Bitch, I ain't a Democrat. <laughs> when I say I ain't a Democrat, then motherfuckers just uh, assume I'm a Republican. Bitch, I ain't Republican either. I'm, 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 uh, I'm of the party make it make sense. Okay, I'm the make it make sense party. If it makes sense, we can roll with it. Okay, that's that's what I'm about. Now, border wall waste of money. In my personal opinion, you know why? Because we have humanitarian laws and shit like that. Okay, so a lot of these people ain't even trying to get in the country illegally. Okay, a lot of these people want to walk right on up to border patrol. Because Border Patrol is going to have to treat them with some humanity. And if they can get into the country, that's all they need to do to file their paperwork. That's all the fuck they trying to do. And once they, and if they are able to file their paperwork, then they got to get them a place to stay and shit until they shit, you know, go through the proper channels or, or until they meet the deadlines and all this shit. So putting that wall up there, you ain't doing nothing but making it fucking easier for these people to get to the wall. Because see, if they go, if they come through and they not get into the wall, you know what I'm saying, now you now you over here illegally, you got to make it do what it do, figure it out. Hopefully you got some family over here or some shit, and if you ain't got no family, you pretty much screwed. 
okay? Because you done came in here illegally. They can just automatically deport your ass. Do you walk your ass up to that wall? That's a whole nother different situation right there. But see, motherfuckers don't go research or nothing. They just, yeah, the wall, gonna keep them out. You's a stupid motherfucker. You know that? You just stupid. But anywho, I digress. Um... You all about this wild shit and you want to use the pandemic as an excuse except for you just put a mandate out that say, oh yeah, nobody's allowed to protect their city, county, or whatever by saying you can wear a mask, but the pandemic is the reason why we need to put this wild up. Shut your stupid ass up. That's stupid as hell. See, I don't like dumb shit. This some dumb shit. This some dumb shit. Greg Abbott has been doing some dumb shit, Okay. He done got on my motherfucking nerves. I'm I'm tired of him. I'm ready for him to go. I'm tired of him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That man ain't never got on my nerves as much as he has gotten on my nerves in the past about a year and a half. He has gotten on my last goddamn nerve. I am tired of him. I'm ready for somebody to take his spot. He needs to get the hell on. Okay? He needs to get the hell on. And him and the uh in the mayor of San Antonio, them niggas don't get along for shit. <clears throat> I want to say it, 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 it's, it's, it's a party issue but it's really not uh, Greg Abbey just look fucking stupid when it comes to the way he's handling things as far as it, 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 it works for San Antonio now I can't say what he's doing for the state because I ain't paying attention to everywhere in the state I just know a lot of shit that Greg Abbey has done look real stupid for San Antonio and that's why, you know, San Antonio's mayor, you know, handled him like, man, he be doing them press conferences and shit, and you can just hear it in his voice. Like, it's like, he just want to say, this dude's a fucking idiot, you know? <laughs> Greg Abbey just been, oh, he just been on my nerves this year, and this got to be the dumbest shit ever, like, um, no, nobody, you, you can't say that they have to wear a mask in the school. You can't say they have to wear a mask in the post office. You can't say, meanwhile, the fuck 1,300 was the last um numbers that I saw e every day. Just in the county I live in, it ain't even the whole city, just in the county. This one particular county in the city, 1,300 motherfuckers coming down with the COVID every day. And you going to say... No, you can't tell people to wear a mask. But no, we don't want the immigrants coming over here because the COVID is going up. <laughs> and that's the type of shit that gets on my nerves with Republicans. Dumb shit. It be the stupidest ass shit. Like, can your shit make sense? Can, can, can this link with this and this link with that and I love it make motherfucking sense? Not just... Oh, I like this, so I'm going to say this. It don't matter if it don't match that over there. But this right here needs to happen. Like, that's stupid shit. That's that's not how you... That's not how you get shit done. That ain't how you do it. Just dumb. Just dumb as hell. Okay? I, I just needed to rant about that. Because this shit pissed me off. I, I just had to rant about that. And don't, don't worry, Democrats. Your day is coming. Because I done told y'all how I felt about this goddamn Biden and Kamala shit. But, I have to say this. Biden has done everything, most of the things that he said he was gonna motherfucking do. He passed that infrastructure bill. Sure did. What else he said he was gonna do? He said he was gonna remove them troops out of Afghanistan. They're almost out. And... What else he said he was going to do? Some other shit. Oh, he, he getting done what he said he was going to do. I ain't necessarily a fan of his ass, but he, 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 he's getting done what he said he was going to do. I don't really give a fuck about none of that shit. I do know this. Be you Democrat or Republican, all you motherfuckers that choose as a party, I know what the problem is. You motherfuckers are scared of change. Period. You afraid of change because... Um, but the Democrats, especially the ones, them ones, 40 years, 40 years of this man's record. What 
the fuck did he do in 40 years that made you say, oh yeah, he's gonna be great? Now, I'm not saying the things that he got passed that need to happen because Lord knows we need some infrastructure. Like, if y'all ain't been out the country, y'all need to get out the country. Y'all need to go visit somewhere else. America infrastructure is fucked up. It's old and it's outdated, okay? Very outdated. Our infrastructure is shit compared to the rest of the world, okay? When you think third world country, we ain't that far from it, okay? Like, well, we live good and we the richest land and all, yeah, all that shit sound good. But when it comes to looking at your land, you know how, how you look at some places in like South America, some places in Africa. Now you see it's these dirt roads and all this undeveloped land and shit. Okay, we just a step up above that. We just right above that, okay? Because... You go to other countries, you don't see power lines and shit. Okay? No, you don't see that. But we still got that shit. That's some old shit. Other people, railroads, they don't move like ours. Okay? We got buildings fucking melting. So, you know what I'm saying? That's good that he got that pass. Or whatever. But... Other than, you know, certain things like, but it's the same way with Trump. I wasn't mad at a lot of stuff that Trump did. I was more upset with Trump's theatrics more than the shit he did within his presidency. I ain't like that slick ass shit he pulled when he bombed that man. Like, I didn't like that. You don't usurp con Congress. That's some bullshit. But, um, <clears throat> like, it's good. You know, it's all right. I'm just saying. I think people scared of change because, you know, in order to get what he needed to get done, because he been in politics for so long, you know, he got favors to call in. People owe him favors. He got friends and colleagues. He got people to say, okay, if you give me this, I can give you that. You know what I'm saying? Which is why our government is so motherfucking corrupt. Okay. Government corrupt in the beach. The government corrupts. Why? Because these motherfuckers been in power for so long. Well, I don't even want to say power, but they been in they they been holding their seats for so long that, that all they been doing is you scratch my back, I scratch yours, willing and dealing. You know what I'm saying? People shouldn't be able to sit up there that long. You know what I'm saying? That's that that is a recipe for corruption. Because it's human nature. You know, hey, you do me a favor. You know, y'all know how it go. But this is our government we talking about. So, you know, Biden wasn't the best choice. But he was the best choice when it comes to wheeling and dealing. Because that nigga got the connections. Period. So, there is that. But I think overall, motherfuckers is just scared of change. Because... They, they just used to shit being a certain way and change is frightening, but change needs to fucking happen. You know what I'm saying? Obama said it, but like, then he got out of office and everybody said, fuck change. Well, not really, because, like, we ain't never had no, no president act a fool like Trump did. Trump acted an ass in the over office. He had the over office looking like the court just a little there. Okay? That dude, this hmm, antics all the time. But, uh, that was a change. I guess uh, we got the first woman vice. That's a change, I suppose. I don't fucking know. I know all this shit is weird. I don't like it. I ain't seen a... They ain't had a candidate I, I, I wanted to vote for in a couple of... About two or three elections. I don't know what the next election gonna look like. I think Trump gonna be back up there. You know, he got to get his second term in. He got to get it in, okay? Trump gonna get that second term. Y'all got Trump fucked up, okay? He coming back. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, 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 really, I just did this video because I just, I was just like the audacity of this motherfucker right here. Greg Abbott is getting on my fucking nerves. You know what I would like to see? Because Texas almost went purple. I would like to see Texas turn blue. One time in my life, I would like to see what a blue Texas look like. Texas has been red all my life. And, you know, I, I love Texas. Texas is pretty decent. Like, 
even our races ain't even that bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, I done lived in Georgia. I done been through Mississippi. Alabama, all of that shit. Them, down, them races down there, that's some different shit. Okay? That shit is different. Texas, our races, you know what I'm saying? You ain't that, like, they got, like, 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 the sundown towns. So, like, the sundown towns was having Black Lives Matter marches, okay? That just shows you how progressive um, the racism is in Texas. I'm not saying that it, it doesn't exist, but, you know, it's not likely that, you know, somebody gonna walk down the street and call you a nigga. That's, that, that ain't how most of our white folks get down. Not even in in the country in the states they don't normally behave that way, you know. Um, you you not now. There was a point in time where there were certain places, you know, you you want to get your ass out of there before the sun goes down. That's why they was called sundown town. But they haven't been like that in a while. You know what I'm saying? Whereas in some places you go in some of these other southern states. That shit is still highly fucking segregated, okay? And um, I'm a person that um, I don't give a fuck. I do what the fuck I want to do. However, um, when I'm in these places, and because I'm not from those places, I'm not, like, consciously aware that that shit exists, right? But I can feel it in my spirit. And I be like, huh, hmm, hmm. <laughs> So, you know, I wait till I find somebody that, you know, look like me. And I be like, uh, hey, where am I? And, you, and they'll run it down. And I, you, what I felt usually is right. So I get the hell on. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got too much of that in Texas. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really curious as to what Texas would look like as a blue state. But I'm not really sure <coughs> if Texas will go blue. Especially, I think the only reason why Texas was on the verge of being blue this last election is just because motherfuckers was tired of Trump. They were just tired of his ass. And, you know, I don't think it's necessarily because he was a bad president. You know, I think he did get a lot of bad press. But I think he got a bad press because he was a fucking jackass. Oh, I got ice cream in here. I'm still over here running my mouth. He was a whole jackass. So, you know, of course, you, you act like an ass, you're going to get ass treatment. So, um, he was so polarizing. People was just jumping parties just because, like, fuck this nigga. Anything but this nigga. You know? Um, but, um, I don't, I, I'm just saying, I think people are scared of change. They used to what they used to on both sides because it's so much other shit that we can do. Shit just be stupid. And, and the arguments is dumb as hell. Oh, these hoes cut down the sunflowers. Raggedy bitches. <clears throat> All these arguments about nothing. Just a bunch of nonsense. You don't feel good, Miles? Yeah. I wanted, I, I was, I wanted to find myself some soup that, that does not have any, any food in it. Mm hmm But there's no, there's none. There is no soup that don't have food in it. Yeah. You want some broth? Yeah, I, I was trying to find some. So all you got to do is get you a pot of water. And you can have mushroom. You can have tomato. You can have beef.
Then I got some chicken in here too. Anyway, that's broth. So you take one of them cubes and you put it in about two cups of water. And then you got broth. So like I was saying, I think both of them is skirt or change. And that ain't no way to get shit done. And really, all this shit where you got to control Congress with your party to get shit done is stupid. People should be voting for the best betterment of the country, not what's gonna fit my party. Yeah, it's, it's stupid. That's how corruption happens. Corrupt. <clears throat> You're welcome. Corrupt. Corruption is how it fucking happens. Okay. But I already told y'all where I, my solutions is. These motherfuckers don't need to sit in office that long. And, and, and we motherfuckers need to start rolling these bitches out. Okay. We ain't roll them out. I think, I think they, they have two and four year terms. Look. <clears throat> You don't need to sit in there past the presidential term. You don't. You need to get the hell on. And if nobody's running against you, well, you nobody ran against you. But like, if you look at some of these people, districts that that they 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 oversee. They dishes is like shit. They been fucking holding their con congressional seat for decades. And they shit look like shit. Why is that unacceptable? They shouldn't be there. Anyway. I don't went here, there, and everywhere. I'm going to go now. So, y'all stay drunk and lovely while spreading your living light. I'll be back with some more shit. Later. Love.